Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Sass, and welcome to another cigar review. <sighs> Alright, today we're doing another cigar uh, from Smoke One. If you have one, Eric, and this cigar, I, I kind of worry a little bit. This this might be this might be a mistake. This might be a mistake. Okay, so now you gotta say what the what's the mistake? I think I see some blemish here, but today we're doing the High Clear Castle Signature. Or Senna Tier. Um, and it's like an Egyptian theme cigar. So let's take a quick look on this cigar. Okay. The cigar is High Clear Castle Signature. And uh, the origin is Nicaraguan. Wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano. Binder is Brazilian Matafina. Fillers undisclosed. Uh, it's six and three quarter inches by 52. Vitola is a perfecto. MSRP $33. Uh, in the box of 12. Really cool box. This box is like an Egyptian kind of looking coffin thing. And basically just cigar bunched together, tied it up, put it inside. So, and you can see this cigar had a couple of holes here. Um, hopefully it doesn't create any issues when I smoke it. So. Let's take a look at the cigar. Ecuadorian Habano. Not much smell. Just leafy. Just leafy. There's not much smell to it. Oh, it's leaking. Cut the cap. Mm. Tastes like sweet raisin. Yeah. Kind of sweet, leafy raisin taste. Let's light it up. It's pricey. $33 a cigar. This is about to do a really good job. All right, definitely leaking. I'm going to hold this part. What's the other one? Hold this part. Yeah, if I don't hold it. Yeah. All right. Get a lot of that burn taste to go away. Let's wait for that burn taste to go away. My legs up. Hmm. Peppery. Cedar. Bongyard.
Mm, I want to say espresso, but it's kind of like not there. It's a little bit there, but not really there because the pepper just kills it. Uh. All right, between the coffee and the espresso, somewhere there. A lot of pepper. A lot of pepper. What does that taste? Some sort of like a... Between grassy and plastic taste. More grassy than plastic though. Alright, let me smoke one third and see where that goes. And maybe I'll put a little bit of glue to on these two dots that may be leaking and hopefully it draws better. Be right back. Alright, one third. So one third, it gives me pepper, woodsiness, leafy, and a little bit of chocolate right now. That pepper is sharp. That pepper is close to hurt my nose. Sharp pepper. So if you like pepper, very good. If you don't, it's a little bit too much for me. But overall, it's got flavor. It's got enough flavor that kind of escaped that pepper pepperiness. But I would have liked it if the pepper toned down a little bit. The pepper is very sharp. Yeah, and there's a little bit of sweetness to it too. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice, but I don't I don't think it's delivered correctly right now. So 30 something dollar, 20 something dollar. I don't, I, don't, I don't think so. But yeah, let me uh, smoke some more. We'll see if we get better. This thing burns fast too, so we'll see. All right, second third. It's creeping up to a full, medium to full, almost full strength. And the mixture of flavor now is downtone to a hay, woodsy, sourdough with a little bit of sweetness taste. That's all I got. Like it's a lot of strength for that little bit of taste. A lot of strength for that little bit of taste. Like you know, I, at first I was like, ah, so it's totally fine. Editing, editing, all of a sudden go, ooh, that that tastes kind of strong. And it's not a lot of flavor. That pepper just continues to burn, but it's not giving me a lot. It's not giving me. A lot. It might have other stuff that's in there, but that pepper just kills it. Pepper just kills it. There's no flavor because the pepper just kills it. So. I don't know. It's not the price that we're paying for right now. Definitely not. So. Hopefully last stir with that much strength. It's going to give me a little bit more flavor because it's not doing that. It's not doing that. that. Alright. So last stir. I'll be right back. Alright. So last stir. Just air. <laughs> just air. Woodsy, kinda, mostly air. Kind of just died down. He just died. He just died a miserable, miserable death. He just died, as if he just got burnt to death. There's no life in this thing whatsoever. And full string. All right, some pepper. Pepper stayed. Pepper. But there's no other taste. So. Not a very good experience for a full strength cigar, you know. I always expect that. If you've got to give me a full strength cigar, give me full amount of taste. Where it makes me like, okay, it's worth it. This is why. But it doesn't. It, uh, I lost their hours kind of dies down. So, unfortunately, we're going to rate this cigar. Six and a half. Six and a half, cause it's got a little bit of flavor. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna give I'm gonna give seven and a half, because the box is very interesting. The box looks great. I will probably put a picture of the box for you guys to see. Box looks great, so I'm gonna give him a dollar and a half for that box. All right, so I mean dollar, one dollar for that box. So six and a half plus the box, seven and a half. Seven and a half is where I'm gonna be. 
uh, for this particular cigar. Now, I would not recommend to spend this kind of money, like $30 for this cigar. So, don't buy it, trade it. Get some from your friend, try it one time and call it a day. Only reason I'll buy it is probably for the box. And smoke one and go, I never gotta smoke it again. That's probably what it is. So, yeah, that will be it for this cigar review. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, tell me your ex experience. Tell me that you tried this and it was way better than my experience. This and this thing's worth $30. Or you just simply tell me um, first. <laughs> okay? So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.